You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we have the New Balance Rainier. These are the New Balance Rainier Dark Earth colorway. If you're familiar with our channel, you know we love New Balance over here. We've even reviewed some of their more outdoorsy type shoes like the Hero 5 and the M801 All Terrain. And these right here are a blast from the past, straight from the 80s. New Balance brought them back. Let's go ahead and take a look at the details. They feature an upper that consists of New Buck nylon and leather. They have a nylon tongue with a black nylon tongue tag where you can see the NB logo. They come with flat brown laces, and similar to most boots from the 80s and 90s, they feature these metal eye stays on the side. Taking us down to the toe box, you do have this nice soft nylon material, and you do have that shaggy new buck overlay going around it. Taking us to the side panel of the shoe, you do have more of that shaggy new buck material, which overlays the nylon. And on the quarter panel, you have a running NB logo, which is tonal and brown which is embroidered on. And here at the collar, it features this premium leather material. It's very soft, very padded, and it does have a black suede overlay on that as well. And right underneath that on the back of the shoe, on the heel cup, you have another shaggy new buck overlay. The midsole is consisting of this soft foam material for comfort. And then the outsole is made of this thick Vibram rubber with deep lugs for optimal traction. For those of you who might not know, the New Balance Rainier originally released back in the 80s. I wanna say it was like 1982. And at the time, most hiking boots and most climbing boots were more on the bulkier, heavier side. So New Balance, they teamed up with famous mountaineer Lou Whitaker, and he helped them design something that was still practical, but a little bit more lightweight and still tough. And a few years later, I wanna say maybe it was 1984, he climbed Mount Everest in a pair of New Balance Rainiers. So this boot has a lot of history and they were used to climb one of the biggest mountains in the world. And over the last few years, they've had sort of a resurgence with New Balance bringing back some of the original colorways with the leather uppers, as well as introducing some new colorways and some different textures. And then you had M.A. Leon Dor, who introduced this classic silhouette to a whole new color palette. And I wanna say even as early as December 2023, they brought out the Rainier Low in some cool colors. I do prefer prefer some of the more traditional color blocking with the browns and the blues. The blue has a really nice pop to it. It's just a good looking 90s, 80s boot that still looks good in 2024. I want to say that these came out in 2022 and they retailed for 150 and they've kind of just been sitting going on discount. We were lucky enough to pick these up for around $70 and you can find a variety of other colors on sale as well. And that's a lot of good boot for that value. So if you're interested in the shoe, make sure you check out some of the websites. You can probably snag yourself a really good deal. As far as comfort and style goes, going true to size fit me best, but if you have more of a narrow foot, you might want to go a half size up as it does have a really narrow base. As far as the comfort is concerned, you can definitely feel that foam midsole, but it does still feel like a boot. But what I really love about the shoe and the way that it feels is just all the stability you get from these deep lugs. You really feel like you're just planted into the ground and it's just a good feel, a good fit. As far as style goes, like I mentioned, I really love the color blocking. These did come out in the 80s and I wanna say they were ahead of their time because they might've even just set the whole trend off, blazed the trail for other sneaker companies to wanna create a boot, make something more lightweight and wearable for the average consumer. But how do you guys feel about the New Balance Rainier? Were you able to grab a few pairs on sale? How do you feel about the M.A. Leon door colors? Or is this a complete pass for you? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear your feedback. And make sure you hit that subscribe button and that like button if you haven't already. We appreciate all the support over here. But let's go ahead and try these on. Trailing ACGs, cause we outside. Rainfall conditions, 
I'm outside with it. I might go fishing, no, I do not hold feelings. I go off road if the road missing. You know that the flow different. If you enjoyed this review on the New Balance Rainier, make sure you check out all our other New Balance episodes. We have a bunch for you guys to binge and enjoy. Hit that like and subscribe button as we do have more content on the way. And we'll catch you on the next episode.